To begin the service on your VacuBrand diaphragm vacuum pump, you will need the following tools and accessories. A diaphragm service kit, a Phillips head screwdriver, a flat head screwdriver, a 4mm Allen wrench, a 17mm open-ended wrench, a vacuum gauge with hose barb connection, and an 8mm ID vacuum tubing. A service manual for reference. You will also need an alcohol cleaning solution, and a clean towel for head cover cleaning. Read the instructions in your service manual carefully to understand the details of servicing your vacuum pump. Turn off the power to your vacuum pump and disconnect the power cord. Remove the handle using the 4mm Allen wrench and set the screws and nuts aside for reassembly later. Using the open-ended wrench, refer to your service manual for proper size. Disconnect the vacuum piping connection by loosening the vacuum fittings, carefully removing the piping from the elbow connections. Using the 4mm Allen wrench, remove the housing cover. Remove head covers and set aside. Check for any noticeable wear and tear on the head covers and replace as needed. Clean intact head covers with ethyl or isopropyl alcohol. Carefully press the diaphragms to be changed using a blunt tool such as a flat head screwdriver to create a space to lift the diaphragm so that the diaphragm wrench can slip in. Be careful not to scratch the diaphragm housing. Slip the diaphragm wrench behind the diaphragm and engage with the flat sided support disc. Loosen the diaphragm support disc from the connecting rod of the pump itself by turning counterclockwise. Remove the support disc assembly washer from the connecting rod. Remove the diaphragm clamping disc from the diaphragm assembly and clean with the alcohol solution. Replace the worn diaphragm with a new diaphragm in the same orientation and reassemble to the diaphragm assembly. Place the assembly back into the diaphragm wrench. With the pump on end, guide the diaphragm assembly back into position on the connecting rod, replacing the support disc assembly washer in the process, and screw the entire assembly back into place. Remove the old flapper valves from the head covers. Place the head covers back into position on the diaphragms. Be sure to line up the inlet and exhaust ports of the housing cover with the head covers. Replace the flapper valves with the new valves from the replacement kit. Again, make sure the flapper valves are properly seated into position in the head covers. Place the housing cover back into position and secure with the screws. Repeat this diaphragm service process for the adjacent diaphragm assembly on the other side of the pump. Reconnect the vacuum piping to the elbow connections and tighten the vacuum fittings. Reassemble the pump handle.
plug the unit back in, cap the pump inlet, and turn the pump on to make sure the pump starts properly. Be careful not to cap or block the exhaust outlet. Connect the vacuum gauge to ensure proper vacuum levels are met by the newly serviced pump. For more information on our vacuum pumps and other products, visit us at vacubrand.com.